Residents in a Livermore neighborhood are still dealing with the aftermath of a power surge during a powerful windstorm. It was caused by a palm frond that fell across a high voltage distribution line and lower voltage transmission line. This happened at Lane Avenue and Holmes Street two weeks ago. As KPIX5's Juliet Goodrich reports, though, many neighbors are left with thousands of dollars of repairs. So PG&E has solved part of the problem. They chopped down this palm tree the day after the power surge. The city has given them approval to cut down the rest of these palm trees so it doesn't happen again. But for people in this neighborhood, they say that doesn't really solve their problems right now. It is the doorbell, but it's fried. George Paloma walked us through his home. It was cold. I, the last time I was able to... To check, it was 59 in the house. So far, he's had to replace the refrigerator, dishwasher, heater. The list goes on. The expenses go up. They charged us $1,700 to replace um, an electronic board. The power surge was so powerful it blew the meters off houses in fried electronics, affecting more than 500 residents like Sadesh Baru. What have you had to replace? Uh, the washing machine, microwave. Um, actually, our AC unit upstairs. And it adds up. Yeah, where do you think you're at right now, expense-wise? Close to 10K. So you just put it on the credit card and then <laughs> try to pay later and see what PG&E can do. Jeff Schaefer is Assistant Public Works Director for the City of Livermore. Was there ever any concern about that particular area? There has not been. Those uh, palm trees are rather large, and they've been there for a significant amount of time. PG&E has never contacted us that they had a concern for. Some neighbors lost solar panels, pool pumps, garage door openers, sprinkler control panels, basically anything that was plugged in when the surge hit. The jacuzzi won't start no matter what. PG&E says homeowners can file a claim to report anything damaged during the surge. The company said although the palm tree was not in PG&E's right of way and they are not responsible for its maintenance, they will review and consider each claim. What happens if PG&E says this wasn't our problem? Uh, again, they would process it through the city of Livermore as a claim, and um, they can contact the city of Livermore. They can contact our division here in maintenance, and we can help uh, direct them to the right place. And they would file a claim, and the city would review it just like any other claim. Yeah. You feel vulnerable because at the end of the day, you don't know if you're going to be in big debt. In Livermore, Juliet Goodrich, KPIX 5.